Night Crows is an open world free to play MMORPG that globally launched today on PC and a mobile. This game launched last year in Korea and had one of the most successful MMOR launches last year in Korea, of course. But there has been some controversy around the game, the crypto NFT aspect of the game, while also being made with Unreal Engine 5. The game looks really good. So let's jump right into it, let you guys know if it's worth playing or not. All right, after a, a 2000 player queue i finally got into uh, the rock rook server uh naeu and here are basically uh the classes that we can choose uh the game doesn't have gender lock huge big up uh we have warrior swordsman hunter witch damn yo these characters look really good i'll have to go with the warrior i'm gonna be honest this is my style of play but the witch it which does look good you know Attack range class range. So there's no support. Wand. Okay, here. So the, here we go. A full healer class. You can choose between the healer, scholar. It will give you basically. Basically, how you do is every time you level up, you go basically into a tree. So you specialize. So you can either like specialize in being a mage or specialize in being a healer. Be a saint, cleric, cleric. I'm gonna go with the warrior, and we're gonna specialize in two-handed sword. I heard that two-handed sword is pretty crazy. So let's go and then it can be a tank right melee now here this is the tank basically here it can be a tank i'm not gonna go with the tank i'm gonna go with the warrior all right let's see here what do we have some character customization don't worry we're gonna be talking about the game okay i'm gonna be uh i have a lot of stuff to talk about this game because but the characters though they look so good that that's like you know what i really it's so unfortunate because there's a lot of stuff I have to say about the game, a lot of controversial stuff. But first of all, it's so sad that the game actually looks pretty good. It's so the game quality wise, like they did not go wrong at all. So you can do like a lot of different changes. I'm guessing hairstyle, go with the white hair color. You already know she looks crazy right now. She looks crazy. Can I like just change? a certain style or do i have to like choose from one of their styles right after it seems like i have to choose from one of their styles but whatever we go with this speed okay we have our character let's try not to crash so we don't lose our cue okay so night crows we are here and this is our character again quality of the game amazing the ui also looks pretty good uh kind of outdated but it looks good game is full auto play i'm guessing yes it is full auto i actually played night crows before even you're lost in korea i did play i did check it out so i know what i'm talking about when i talk about the game uh but basically it's a game by we made if you guys don't know we made we made it are known to make crypto nft mmos now you guys know my stance on crypto nft mmos i don't like them uh i strongly dislike them uh because most of it ends up being super pay to win uh, because you have to spend money to get any type of money and it's just like uh, a scam to basically get you to spend more money right and usually all these games you don't end up making any money on them you just think you're making money on them and this game actually lets you spend most of the crypto you you make in the game back into the game for in-game stuff and also you get to sell your character later on right in the pvp uh not only with your character it through nft is what i mean you can sell your character through nft but basically uh i don't like crypto nft uh, games we made our known for it uh but they also made a really good mmo back in the day which was mirror 4 super active but also died out and it had a bunch of bots because these crypto nfts they attract bots more than usual mmos and you already know oh by the way i completely forgot uh i'm not even playing right now the game is playing for me you know fantastic so you know that's only that's good because that makes lets me talk to you guys i just have to remember to click the quest but it, these games that have crypto aspect in them becomes even more pay to win and uh, not pay to win bot ri ridden than normal mmos and each mmo has a bunch of bots but this game will have like the next new number of bots i know they have like verifications and stuff but they don't usually work so like i said this game had a very successful launch in korea but that could be like the player numbers could this camera i don't like it let's go with the manual camera the player numbers 
could probably be affected by the number of bots, of course, but uh, the player numbers were very successful. Now, the global launch that we have now, what I don't like about it is there was no, like, really good advertising or promotion done for the game. I feel like they're just launching the game just to launch it, you know, be like, hey, all right, we need more players. Let's launch a global, you know, let's pump up the, the crypto coin for this game. Uh, but that's uh overall opinion like game the gameplay wise if you look away from the nft and crypto aspect for a second i have to say graphics are phenomenal the gameplay what gameplay the game is playing for itself i do nothing there ain't no gameplay i made a very good uh what can you say uh i made a good example last time i talked about nycros nycros is basically throne and liberty graphic wise art wise even combat wise what the throne and liberty was before they changed the combat system it's super static combat you guys can see it like if i try to move while attacking i can't you know uh so it's very like throne and liberty old school like super lineage style very static combat a lot of autoplay uh if you do pvp a player runs away from you you're not going to catch him style of autoplay or, or static combat so the combat i don't like uh a bunch of autoplay and the pve especially the pve okay the pvp does get a little bit better but the pve i was looking at some like end game raid boss boss fights it was like 100 players 200 players fighting this boss and there's no movement at all you know like ninja says no movement and i was like Dude, that looks boring as what? Like you're just standing there and just shooting the boss and no movement. There's no dodge. You're not dodging anything. You're just standing there, just hamming at the boss. So it looks really boring, the PVE. And I think overall, even though this game is an MMO, right? You will be joining guilds. You'll be leveling up your character. You'll be progressing. Most of it will be autoplay. I think the big thing, the selling point of the game is the PVP. You unlock it later. You guys see here, PVP. Uh, at level 30, we will unlock it. Uh, and the PvP actually has massive Zerg PvP. Again, like Throne and Liberty. Most of the PvP in this game is Zerg-based. But it's also very static. And it's, the crazy thing about it is that thousand player fights that you can have. Like PvP fights. So the mass PvP. But even that is very static, right? But if you enjoy like doing mass Zerg PvP, you might enjoy it. Uh, but really like interesting stuff. Uh, when it comes to the game, like... Kind of puts me like a weird spot because I, I really want to like the game because it's Unreal Engine 5. The game looks fantastic. It has a lot of content. Like the game has a lot of content. You know, we have this PvE, we have PvP, we have crazy looking mounts, gliders, a lot of stuff to do. Uh, so the, it's just really sad that it ended up being a super crypto game like AFK MMO. Uh, it has like a proper PC client, right? Uh, that you can play with and it, the game looks fantastic on pc so it's just really sad the way they've done it uh however let's look at the other things now this game does have voice chat so you can join up in a five player party in a dungeon and talk to your fellow crypto nft bros you know talk about how the crypto how the crypto is doing man you know talk about uh, you know how how they can make the crypto go up do some crazy rug pulls you know so uh, it does have a voice chat and and the servers are super active right now the player like like i said the server queue was full that might be like thousand bots trying to get into the game uh to farm money uh find farm crypto or either sell crypto who knows uh so that could be like the reason they're actually trying to get into the game right uh now we talked a little about like the gameplay i'm not a fan of the gameplay and combat i do like the classes though and i do like the system of the classes where you like level up uh your your weapon your your weapon and you turn into like subclasses and then you promote yourself into like even stronger subclasses i like that aspect you know it gives you like a really nice progression type of vibe uh, and that you can focus on your type of uh character however it's, it's like when the game plays for you, does your talents really matter, right? Does your character really matter? Does your progress really matter? Like, what you, what am I doing? Like, I'm going to be honest. Right now, I'm just clicking one thing. And that's like the top right. 
Uh, but I heard most of the PvE and this stuff is autoplay, but when it comes to like the PvP, it's not that autoplay anymore, right? Uh, so we'll have to see about the PvP. I kind of want to like, the reason I'm clicking up here is I kind of want to look at the shop. Okay, here we go. We got the pay to win shop. Now let's look at, take a look at the pay to win. Because we got some stuff here. We got redeem co coupons. Got for 29 bucks, I can get some juice. Some weapon style summon crystals. Okay, that's style. This is pay to skin. We know that. So that's not pay to win. That's good. Mount style. Okay, okay. Skins. Skins. That's good so far. Acro's gear selection. Wait. This ain't no... This... This is not... Yeah, this is not... This is not... This is not skin. This is gear. This is gear. Okay, we have mounts. We have weapon styles. So that This is the skin stuff. And then we have black wind. We have summon. We have currency. Nitro gear. Gear. Yeah. We got gear right here. You can pay to win some uh, some brutes. Some gear. I mean, it's kind of expected. I didn't expect this game to have skins. So that's how I was shocked. I was like, yo. Uh, okay, we got a glider. Okay, this is kind of cool too. You have a cool type of glider. Some cool costumes. I'm going to register this. Can I fly already? Equip. Boom. Yes, we can fly again. More throne and liberty, yo. This is this is basically throne and liberty. We can fly. I think you can even like transform into animals, like you do in throne and liberty, and like yeah, like hooks and stuff. Oh, they go crazy, yo. I mean, let's be real. Throne and liberty isn't doing too good either right now, even with all the new changes that they made. Uh, while having no auto, everything, you know, they're not doing good, but maybe this game is the answer, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we want autoplay deep down, maybe we, that's what we actually want. Man, it's so sad to see, bro, look how good this game looks, though. Oh my god, this game had the craziest potential. Look at the world, man. Why did they do this? How dare they do this, man? The gliding function is pretty nice too. It's kind of slow. I guess like when I get better wings and stuff, I make it like I might go faster. But the game feel like if you look at like the overall feel of the game. Well, what is that? Yeah, I can fly. The overall it feels very polished. It's just that the combat is so bad that it just feels so clunky, right? Like the static. I feel like they put no, no effort in the combat. They're like we're gonna put all the effort. Into the world, how the game looks, all the costumes and stuff. Like, look at the probably has some crazy looking mounts. Yeah, look at these crazy looking mounts. You can combine mounts too. I wonder how much this mount even costs. Look at the all the gives you stats. The bounce gives you stats. <laughs> okay, we're getting crazy. You can combine them for probably more stats. Number, oh, you see, like if you see below here, you guys probably can't see. You can see the number of failures that you had with your mounts. Oh my god. Oh no. They're gonna milk you guys. They're gonna milk you for all that money. You gotta get that sick mount, yo. I wanna look at the costumes though. Can I see the costumes? Probably not, right? I mean, I'm guessing it's gear based, right? Not costume based. So I'm not seeing any costume pages. It's probably like based on your gear. What you get. They have like all the basic stuff too. Like gear... You can register your gear for your uh, for your collection to get the bonuses. They have these events going. Also, there's no like dedicated EU server. They're like they put NA and EU together, and they're like, yeah, that's the server. But I don't have. I'm not having any ping issues though. That's good. Repair a beautiful lake. Except this. Go near the lake. Thank you. I'm gonna be honest, I say this every time. But yo, I kinda enjoy playing auto games sometimes. Not gonna lie. I ain't do nothing. 
You know, I'm just looking around, especially like early phases when you're like learning the game, you're just autoing is doing everything for you while you're like reading stuff and checking out the menus, checking out the shop. You know, it's, it's kind of nice, guys. I can't lie. I can't lie. It's kind of good. There's not like, they could at least add like a dodge ability, you know, to make it a little more fluid. Right? But they didn't. It's just like jump. Auto pick up. Auto quest. Alright, let's go do some quests, man. Let's go, character. Yeah, go hit that. He got hit that. Hit that dude, yo. Boom. So, also with the NFPS, I kind of like pushed into it earlier. Like, you can buy and sell characters. Like, that, that's like the whole thing, right? You can buy like... Like super expensive characters like end game characters so you can like grind your character up to sell it one day by spending a lot of money pike we invited me to party yo can i talk to him can i talk to my fellow crypto bro yo yo can you hear me yo what's gucci man party here we go i think i probably have to activate it right in the settings yeah we gotta talk to our bro yo your face how do i do that because somebody did tell me that it's like Voice chat. There you go, voice. But how do I activate the voice chat? That's the question. Um, maybe you have to be like inside dungeons. You can name your parties and stuff. I don't know how to activate this. My fellow crypto bros are trying to talk to me, man. And I'm out here like killing mobs. But... You guys get the gist of uh, Nitro's. Uh, overall, it's just like... I, I have to say, if you're looking for like a full-on mobile game, it's a good game. It looks ga great. It might fry your device because, you know, the graphics go crazy. Uh, but I'm going to be checking it more. I want to see what the end game is all about and make like an actual end game review of the game. Uh, you guys know my first impression, my first opinions. They're not great. Uh... I don't like crypto NFT games in the first place, but it's it's just it just sucks when the game looks so good and it has these functions, right? But the PP might be good, so I'm gonna be streaming later today, so you guys can tune in for the stream and see what the game is all about. We're gonna be hitting level 30, unlocking PP, all that good stuff, so you guys can check it out. But this is my first impression of the game. The game is globally launched. If you guys want to check it out yourself, uh, make sure you guys. Check out this video right here. Give me guys' opinion in the comments. I would love to hear you guys' opinion. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.